Welcome to another edition of the Health Ministry Weekly Review. Stay with us as we recap the past week's events and initiatives. On Friday last, at his breakdown office, the Honorable Dr. Frank Anthony received a courtesy call from the Commonwealth Secretary General, Baroness Patricia Scotland, and her team. During the meeting, the Health Minister used the opportunity to inform the visiting team of some of Guyana's major achievements thus far, along with the current initiatives that are being rolled out across the country to ensure that healthcare services are accessible to all. The following day, the health minister conducted a visit to the distribution site of the eye testing and spectacles voucher program at an outreach held at the Victoria Health Center. Over 80 school children and senior citizens benefited. Meanwhile, on July 15th, Minister Anthony met with a team from REACH to discuss ways in which they can collaborate and improve the health sector. REACH is part of the U.S. President's Malaria Initiative, which is crucial in the global fight against malaria. On July 17th, Dr. Anthony attended the opening ceremony for the PAHO Flu Information Management System workshop. This workshop aimed to educate staff at both national and site levels on Sentinel surveillance, data entry, and case follow-up in the PAHO flu system and to enhance the overall system functionality. In delivering his remarks, Minister Anthony highlighted the importance of integrating the national surveillance system to monitor all diseases comprehensively. We need to be prepared for future pandemics. So while we have been building systems to understand what is happening with human health, we will only be able to respond appropriately to future pandemics if we are able to track diseases among the animal population and to understand what is happening in our environment. Thereafter, he delivered remarks at a continuing nursing education session that was hosted by the Nurses and Midwives Council, Guyana. The session was offered both in person and virtually, with areas of focus being on contraceptives and patient safety. In his remarks, Minister Anthony stated that the CNE sessions are geared at keeping nurses and midwives up to date with medical information. So it's a very important thing because medicine is a very dynamic area and on a daily basis there are concepts that are being changed, new information that is um, being made available, new discoveries and unless we have sessions where we are keeping ourselves informed, very quickly uh, we'll be outdated. So the continuing medical education sessions are geared to do that. On the set day, a dialysis and kidney center was commissioned at Grove East Bank Demerara. The center is privately owned and will offer hemodialysis treatment for individuals in need due to kidney failure conditions. The chief medical officer, Dr. Narayan Singh, who attended the event, noted the significance of dialysis treatment in expanding life expectancy. He also mentioned the Ministry of Health's dialysis cash grant that is currently being rolled out across Guyana. Dr. Singh also accepted donations of medical supplies on the same day. Meanwhile, in other news, the Arakaka, Wallaba, and Santa Cruz in Maruka Region 1 are the newest communities to benefit from the telemedicine service. With this, doctors can now perform remote diagnosis and treatments for patients in these areas. So there you have it. Thank you for tuning in to this week's review. Be sure to be on the lookout for our purple team who will be visiting communities in regions 3 and 4 to administer the filaria pill as we fight to end filaria throughout Guyana.